Hi friends, very warm welcome to the next uh, session on SAP CPQ. So today we are going to talk about system walkthrough. So now before I jump into system and I show you how does SAP Q screen look like, let me just give you a basics of SAP CPQ. So in case if you're not sure what exactly is SAP CPQ, so again SAP CPQ uses for configuration of a complex product. So where you don't have a like uh, SQ might be where you need to configure a product as such. So again, I think with the help of your SAP CPQ system, you'll be able to configure complex product, might be services, easily set up pricing discounts, might be create quotes and create some kind of a custom proposals as such, where you will see a fancy PDF, which you are going to send it to your customer. Now again, I think if you just look at these other different, different kind of a challenges, which SAP, SAP uh, CPQ system addresses, which is your complex product configuration, human or wild quoting, time-consuming coding process or might be your upselling and discounts. So this is where SAP CPQ has the power. Now let me just quickly go to the next part. Again, I think these are the different, different kind of a benefits of SAP, uh, SAP CPQ. Now, again, guys, uh, for me, I think it's very easy to go through the major benefits. I'm not sure how many of you are able to actually relate it out, but I just really want to give you a quick example here. Now let's say in case if you go to any kind of electronics store, let's say, okay, and now you want to buy a computer, and but your sales rep of that company says, okay, we can actually configure it for you. I'm sure you, you would have heard about the configure from the sales rep. So now here I think SAP CPQ gets played out. So now let's say might be a class for the RAM, how much is the hard disk, do you want any kind of a... Uh, might be, do you need a Bluetooth? Do you want some kind of extra services? Might be some kind of a maintenance service. So now think of a use case. Now someone at his screen try to quote it out to you and on fly only, okay? You choose your RAM from 8 to 16 GB and automatically the price changes. So that's the power of SAP CPQ. Again, this is being used extensively in manufacturing industries, might be complex industries like might be steel. So CPQ is, is a very, very efficient solution, uh, efficient solution and definitely the Calidus one is a leader into the market. So these are again some kind of a major benefits of this particular tools because again, you will have accurate prices, you will have a profit margins uh, because in system, you will not be able to give more discount than, than uh, approved one. So that's why you have kind of a profit margins. Again, your proposals are professional. Again, I think in the series, we're going to show you what, what are the different, different kind of a proposal documents even look like. Now, again, this is one of the important questions comes up, Sam, how does SAP CPQ URL look like? So, okay, and the people who are coming from the on-premise where we used to have system like PRD forward slash 200, how does it really work out? Now, guys, again, all the different, different kind of a cloud system has their own, uh, uh, way to open it out. So now let's in case if you're talking about one of the CRM system, which is SAP Sales Cloud, so you will you will have some kind of a unique identifier here. Then dot CRM dot on demand dot com. Again, as we have mentioned to our last session, that SAP CPQ was acquired by SAP CX. Okay. So now in case if I just copy this URL, if I just try to paste it here into the browser. And if I click on the enter, what happens is here you will see that you have username, password, and then domain. So this URL remains the same, but you have to put username and a password, and then domain will be some kind of a, uh, which will actually make a difference. So for every customer, you will have a separate domain here. Okay. So this is how I think you will be able to log in into your uh, customer uh, CPU system. And yes. Now let me just show you one of the CPU systems. So now let's say in case if I if I just go into one of the CPU systems, so this is how you will land into one of the catalogs here. Okay, so this is a catalog page. You, here you will be able to actually search, filter, sort, make it into a tabular structure. And then might be I can just quickly click on the code. But you have to understand here, these are the two important things, code and then product catalog here. Now let's say if I just click on to the code page, so this is how or you will be able to see the code, you will be able to search, you will be able to filter it out. So these are the few things which you will be able to do here into this particular page. Now apart from your catalog and your code, here also you have top options. You have like if you want to create a new project or a quotation, your recently viewed, 
might be your favorites or might be your user menu. These are the few information which you see in your regular landscape. Now, I think the one thing where you will be able to do the configuration is if you click onto the setup page, once you click click on the setup, now here you will see a lot of different different kind of options as such. So these are the different different kind of configuration option which is available to you. Might be here you have like a product catalog. Okay, so here where you will be able to see product categories, attributes, product type, then might be on the pricing and the calculations where you have like markets, price books, shipping, discount priorities, then you have might be codes, where you will be able to define code tables, custom fields, key attributes, and whatnot. Then we have a users, UI design, where you will be able to define your responsive template. Then you have different, different kind of options, which is might be for CRM integration, might be for your workflow approvals, might be your providers, might be in case if you want to develop, might be if you want to develop some kind of a global script, or custom actions, or might be you have some kind of import, export, security, developer tools. So you have here a lot of different, different kind of options, which is actually available for you for the configuration part of it. So again, for sure, whenever we go in deep down into this particular course, then you will be able to actually see more about from the system perspective. In case if you have any kind of a question, feel free to drop me an email, reach out to us, and we would be happy to actually answer in case if you have any kind of questions. Let me just go back to my slide. Okay, I think perfect. I think this is what we were talking about here. We have a shell bar, central section area in the middle, then you have some kind of your main navigation toolbar. So these are the different different kind of options we have it here. So yeah, I think we, we just saw in the system how does SCPQ screen look like. In case if you're interested in our course or in corporate trainings, please reach out to us on these details. Thank you so much.